In this program, I'm going to show you the basics of writing and running a Python program. We'll start off by finding the Canopy program. In the case for Mac, it'll be in your Applications folder and starting it up. Once the Welcome to Canopy window appears, double click on the editor. This will bring up a window in which we can actually write our program. Now we can either select a program we've written earlier or create a new file. In this case, as it's our first Python program, we're going to create a new file. So here we have our editor window and we can type the Python commands in here. When we run it, Python will go through this and execute each line in turn, all the different commands. So let's start off with a really simple one. Let's just print something. So let's print, I love physics. Now we can save that. Oh, what do we call it? Um, let's call it simple.py. It's really important to have the .py at the end so that your system knows it's a Python program. And we're going to save it on the desktop. So you see over here on the desktop, program simple.py has appeared. Now let's run it. So we just press the run button and there it goes. It gives us I love physics. Very simple. Let's make it a bit more complicated. Let's define a variable. So for example we'll have a variable called a equals, hmm, I don't know, let's call it 2.3, 2.2. And we can then print a. I notice up here when I was printing, I put it inside quotes. That's because I didn't want Python to think that I was a variable, love was a variable, and physics was a variable. I just wanted it to print those characters out. Here there are no quotes because A is a variable. So it'll instead of printing the letter A, it'll work out what A is, the variable, and print that. So what's happening here is when you have this command, it's called an assignment command, the computer sets up a space in its memory which has got the label A and contains the value 2.2. And then when you have this print A command, it prints whatever is in that part of its memory, which has a label A, which in this case should be 2.2. But let's try. So we'll save that and run it. And it now prints I love physics and 2.2. So it's very good. One very important thing to put in all programs are comments. As far as the computer is concerned, all it cares about are the lines with commands. It doesn't ignore any blank lines. It also ignores any lines that have a hash in the front. So this line will be ignored by the computer. It's purely for the benefit of humans. Why does it matter if humans can read the program? Well, in the real world, people spend a lot of time not writing their own programs, but changing programs they wrote a few years ago to do something different or modifying someone else's program. So if you go into a new thousand line program and you want to find out, hmm, I need to change something to make you know, deal with a different interest rate or whatever it might be, it's very helpful to have these uh, statements here telling you what's going on. So this is saying define variables. So we now know we're going to define the variables. So it's well worth putting comments in and laying it out nicely so that humans can understand it. We can also do some arithmetic. Let's say we define a different variable, say b equals 4.3. We can now print a plus b. So we'll save that and we'll run it. And indeed, it's done some simple arithmetic. What more could you ask?